If you've decided to try working in your community, there are many ways to get started. If you receive waiver services, tell your case manager about your desire to work. Whether you have a waiver or not, you can also get help from Vocational Rehabilitation Services, often called VR. Call, email, or visit your local VR office and ask to apply for services. VR will then schedule an interview for you to complete an application questionnaire with a VR counselor. The VR counselor may also ask you to sign release forms that will allow your doctors and your schools to share your records with VR. The counselor will review your application answers and medical and academic records to decide your level of disability and your eligibility for the services. You'll be notified of the decision by mail within a couple of months. If you are eligible for VR, you will be assigned a different counselor. When you meet with them, they will help you create an individualized plan for employment. Even if you don't know what specific job you want, let your VR counselor know about your interests, skills, and any past work experience. Your VR counselor can add discovery services to your plan, which would provide you with an employment specialist who would help you experience different jobs and explore different work sites. There are many different career paths, and you may have questions about working in the community before you decide to leave sheltered work. Remember that you have many people and services available to help. Hi, my name is Mark Joseph Pueblo. I have three jobs. I want to call Mark Joseph Pueblo Speaks. And I have another job, a part time job for the job label. They include me, and I'm part of the team now. I also got a full time job. I like what you call Mark Joseph Pueblo Speaks. What I do, I help my friends out if they want a job, but I do, I give them advice to do so, to have a, a good job, and we'll pay. That's what I talk about, having a life of your own. That's what I, I do talk about with my own business, to have your own business to do what I'm doing. Well, well I mean, people need to wake up. And now that we see what we can do. I mean, we're not broken. Don't tell us that we're being broken. Because we're not broken. We're humans too. We got human right to do so. To live on the world. To get a job. Get real pay. And then live on your own. You know, we can do it. We can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I used to, I, I used to work at that. I worked hard before. I've been in paycheck. A low, low increase. I mean, how can you make a living if there's no good increase, you know? Money is a very important thing to have to live on your own. I had to I had to live that job. It was my own. It's my father to leave. For one thing that they, they did not respect me. But the main thing was the money. I mean you can't I can live in the man. The only thing you get paid by piecemeal. And I had to leave. It was my idea to do that. I mean, that's how bad they were paid on. But just remember one thing believe in yourself. You can do it. You can do it. Many people and their family members worry that they will lose important Medicaid benefits if they start a job with good wages and hours. But you won't. You can keep all of your Medicaid benefits and earn more than $80,000 per year by enrolling in MedWorks, Indiana's Medicaid buy-in program. Alternatively, your employer may offer an insurance plan that has better benefits than Medicaid. You should definitely schedule a meeting with a benefits analyst to get more information about maximizing your income and maintaining necessary insurance benefits. Some people are nervous about their safety working in the community. You can talk about safety concerns with your case manager or your VR counselor. They can help you develop a plan to feel safe, such as walking to your car with a colleague when your shift ends or having access to your cell phone at all times. You may wonder, what if I don't like my job after I start working? What if I am scared of change? Everyone has those concerns. People with and without disabilities fear change and the unknown, but moving forward helps us grow. No one expects you to stay in one job for life. If you are unhappy with your job, tell your case manager or your counselor. Last, you may be concerned that a friend or your parents, perhaps, are not happy about your decision to work in the community. They might think they know what is best for you, but you know yourself best. The choice to work 
and where you do so should be directed by you. Many support systems can provide advice, but you must lead them. You deserve to live the life you want and to follow the career path that you choose. You can always change your mind and adjust your choices to continue experiencing the life that works best for you.